Shukri on the uh, on the on the crypto market. Is it is it oh, the yeah. start of a, a new crypto bull market? Yeah, bull. let's show the facts and let's uh, also discuss about what Julian said because there is a relationship. So uh, Jules also said that the uh, volatility has gone down. This is the Bitcoin fear index. Of course, when there's fear, that's when you have the reverse and people, you know, people start buying and then, and that's what's happening. People start buying. The short sellers get squeezed out, which is what's happening now. Bitcoin is going out because of a short squeeze, but look at this. Okay, there was one, two, three, four. It's like a quadruple bottom on getting scared. People were scared. It went up, got slammed again, went up, got slammed again, and this is the fourth time, so that looks good. Also seems to coincide with that triple bottom. Okay, I muted somehow. So let's look at where Bitcoin is. So I said last week that it depends on what the S&P 500 is doing, and look at that. I just, just look at that, just like that, right? I'm not surprised Bitcoin went up. I'm more surprised the S&P went up. So that was not a surprise. And it's also not a surprise that the uh, shorts were caught on the wrong side uh, this week. Ethereum, of course, uh, is going up. Uh, yes, Ethereum is a good buy because on August 4th, there is a triple halving, which reduces the inflation rate of Ethereum by 90%. That is a big deal. So uh, I don't have time to look at the charts now. But what happened last time before the previous uh, significant uh, event, which was Ethereum 2.0, this is what I think will happen. It'll go like this and then it'll go like that around or after the news. So everyone's asking now, when is the DeFi summer? Just look at Chainlink, guys. If Chainlink can defend this, I think we could have a DeFi summer. You got to wait until Ethereum pumps first. So DeFi summer, I think, is around mid-August. Having said that, if you are in uh, something called NFTs, you are doing very well. You are very happy. And uh, let's see something here and look at that. Uh, no, you don't look at that. This is this is XC Infinity. Look what happened. It went up to 30, went down to 13, and now it's and it went up straight up to 50. That is what you get in crypto. So this is Alice. If you're here, uh, just go to patterns that matter. I mean, Alice got pumped here because of staking. You had to buy to stake Alice to get land. Same thing here. If you're in here, you know that it'll probably go up here until four days later when the staking ends. And that's all I have today. It is, yeah, it is coming back. Good for us. But uh, again, please be careful that this is a short squeeze. Probably we get stopped at around 36 or 40K and that's fine with me. Oh, hang on a bit. Open my microphone. Okay, why why is that fine with you? Why why don't you want it to go to ah, the moon again? You you, you were always yeah, going to the moon. Good question. Because when Bitcoin rests, the smaller ones go up. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're uh -huh. investing in the smaller yeah. ones, right? Yes. If not, the uh, the investors are going to go for the less volatile uh, instrument, which is Bitcoin. I, I know you guys think that Bitcoin is very volatile, but for us crypto guys, Bitcoin is the least volatile of all. A volatile one is like Axie Infinity goes to thirty, falls down to thirteen, and then goes to fifty the next week. That's volatile. Oh, my God, I need a towel to wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> yes, that <you> happens. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> we'll catch up with you.